Look, I'm not saying I was totally innocent. I just think there's a lot more to the story. It seems like a long time ago to me now, but I used to have quite a responsible job. I didn't have an executive office yet, but I was management material. I didn't really mind the open workspace. It's just that some of my co-workers had a habit that made it difficult this to do my job. It's killing me. Oh, tell me about it. I know I'm good. I got my own. Uh, guys, do you mind? Could you do this somewhere else, perhaps? Oh, here we go again. Mr. Goody Goody Two Shoes always has to make some kind of comment. This isn't about good or bad. I just want to be able to do my work undisturbed. You're the one that's disturbing us. Yeah, just leave us alone, Tim. This is about your habit, not my talking about it. If you didn't do it, then I could do my work. And if I could do my work, then I wouldn't be disturbing you. Oh, Tim, give us a break. Now, I don't consider myself a whiner or a complainer, but something clearly had to be done. Is Mr. Dinklater in? Tim, to see you, sir. He can see you. Come. But this didn't really meet with much success. <laughs> In spite of my failure with Mr. Dinkletter, a short time later laws were enacted to ensure playing only took place in designated areas. If it wasn't outside, then it was usually some dingy little soundproof room. Since I was the only one in my office to voice an opinion prior to the legislation... So I guess you're happy now. Some of the more adamant tuba players took their frustrations out on me. Oh, you non-players think you're no deaf just because you play a little bit? I didn't think I was unreasonable. Harmful or not, why should I be affected by their habit at all? Besides, it's not about deafness. I'm not deaf. <sighs> Look, you'll probably never go deaf. I'm not deaf! I'm not sure Bill got my point. My first date with Mary was shortly after restaurants started being required to have non-playing sections. But we were seated on the edge of the section. Oh, sorry, where was I? Oh, everything's in point. It wasn't easy for me. I hadn't been on a date in such a long time. Uh, well, it's kind of a long story. You see, Susan, well, that was her name. Susan didn't really have many bad habits. She... Go on, I'm listening. It's really a long story. Is it this? 
I only play after sex. I find it completes the experience. Back when I was selling Bibles out of the trunk of my car, I noticed that a lot of people on some of those bottles came in. the start of something Hi. good. Hi, Mary. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. If she only played after sex, then I could live with that. Would you care for a toot? I <laughs> But that wasn't the case. Yeah, that's a good start. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I'm, uh... That's because the underwear was already in the blender. Okay, so I've got a vice or two of my own. I never said I was an angel. <laughs> Where'd Tim go? Yeah, he's been gone a while. Let's go find him. So that's it. That's my story. I guess ever since Susan, I've seen tubas as inherently bad. As far as I'm concerned, the saxophone is a much more benign instrument. As you've seen, though, the rest of the world would disagree with me. but it's a wee bit different. Thank you. 
Thank you. 